What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network and today I'm bringing you an article which involves the big dog at Nintendo of America, my nigga Reggie Fiume. And Reggie, now I have an extensive history with this man. Now when the 3DS first got released, I was at the event at Best Buy in New York City. It was in Union Square, right? I was there myself and I was on a line. I was one of the first people on the line and I was waiting because Reggie was actually coming by and like shaking people's hands saying thank you for coming to the event and Nintendo hosted that event perfectly man. They had food, N Nintendo had free food. They were giving out Chipotle kind of food, they were giving out all these burritos and whatnot and then they also had hand warmers so you know since you were out there waiting for the 3DS to drop and if you remember it was in a very cold month, they had hand warmers so you could really keep yourself warm and it was, it was just an amazing event, perfectly orchestrated, it had an awesome vibe there. And then Reggie showed up, and everyone's just losing their shit, right? So then, this dude Reggie, he's about to get to me. And so, my man Ben was recording it. He was recording everything. And when Reggie came up to me, I, wanted, I said to myself, you know what, like, I know this is kind of crazy for me to do, but let me do something that I know he'll never forget. Let me say something to this man that I know he will never fucking forget like he'll always think back to the event maybe and say to himself holy shit did you see that guy who holy shit that guy actually said that to me I wanted to make sure I left an impression on him even if it was sort of a crazy one one that kind of was like a little bit wild but I mean hey whatever so I was just losing my shit like okay what do I say what do I say just hi Reggie and that's it do I leave it like that no of course not I'm fucking Etika I gotta make sure that I go over the top and do something that this nigga will never forget me for even if he thinks I'm fucking gay, I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. So what I said was, when he came up and shook my hand, I was like, hello, Reggie, can I please have your children? <laughs> like, I said, I know, I said, can I please give birth to your children? That's what I said. I said, can I, hello, Reggie, can I please give birth to your children? He was like, and he was about to shake it. And then I said that to him, and then he was like, Hilarious. It was hilarious. I shit you not. That happened. I said to Reggie Fiume, can I please give birth to your children? And he'll never forget that. You know, I mean, one day, I guess, maybe if I get big enough, he'll actually see me in sort of like a, a big standpoint. Maybe he'll see me at some point again, and he'll say, maybe, maybe he won't even remember me. Maybe he won't remember me. But I said that to him. And I, I made his night memorable, at least, you know, in that sense. Like, he'll never forget that. Because everybody was saying, oh, I love your work, Reggie, blah, 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 this and that. My body's ready. And I'm like, man, I've been making my body's ready jokes all night. Like, come on, dude. I want to do something that's kind of like, you know, different. And, you know, I don't mind taking some crazy stuff and crazy and risk in order to leave an impression on people. So, I mean, hey, it's gotten you motherfuckers here, right? But yeah, I, I, I totally went off on a tangent there. That actually happened, it was on camera, but I don't know what happened to the footage. I gotta hit my man Ben back up because um, I really don't know what happened to the footage. I wish I still had it on this computer, but it's probably on my old, old computer. Like the one that I got before I got my Alienware to start my YouTube channel. So I'll try to see if I can dig up that footage. But anyways, so we have an article about Reggie Fiume, the man, the myth, the legend. This guy is amazing. And, um, and if you don't do what he likes, he'll kick your ass, quote unquote. So I mean, and Nintendo America jokes about a Reggie Fiume amiibo figure, and this is one other thing that I just love about the direction that they're taking Nintendo of America, and Nintendo in general, but m m more America, I guess, because they're doing like a much more no-holds-barred, a lot more serious, um, a lot more direct with the fans, and they're just putting themselves in a much more comparable and um, in a, in a much more light-hearted fashion, you know? They don't really care too I mean, I mean, they still keep it professional, they still keep it PG, but they don't mind, you know, going a little bit over the top in certain situations, and I love that about Nintendo recently. And it can be told in all the directs and everything, they, they have some really good stuff going on there. Very good. Anyway, so, um, apparently, Nintendo of America have a sense of humor as they tease fans that an amiibo based on Reggie Fiume will eventually be coming to stores. This hasn't stopped fans from clamoring on Facebook that they do indeed want an amiibo based on the Nintendo of President America. I mean, uh, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, the Nintendo of America president. I honestly don't think that anyone would be able to handle the power that Reggie Amiibo would possess. I would buy a Reggie Amiibo, <laughs> dog. If, you, if Nintendo releases a Reggie Fiume Amiibo, that's it, dog. That's fucking it. I, I, I think that thing's probably gonna be like a hundred dollars, but I, I would buy it. I would buy it, no fucking doubt, man. That's amazing. Um, a Reggie Fiume Amiibo is coming to a store near you. Reggie Fiume is known to cause uncontrollable smash attacks and is not safe to use against human Smash Bros players. Reggie Fiume is not a real Amiibo and would not be sold now or ever. 
God damn it, Nintendo. Come on. They should go that extra level. People will buy. I mean, I mean, I know it's not all about the money. I guess there's a certain representation that they want to maintain out there, a certain image. But I don't see where any wrong could go from a Reggie fils um amiibo coming out. It would be hilariously awesome. And I mean, I know people would purchase it, so you don't even have to worry about the sales of the goddamn thing. But you know, it could be interesting. Like maybe when you put it on the um, Wii U as a Smash Brothers character, you see Reggie's me pop up. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. They could they could be some really cool stuff implemented with this, and it would be awesome if maybe we had like amiibo of all. The Nintendo higher up, so all the people like you know, one of Miyamoto, one of Iwata, one of Sakurai, even it would be awesome. But I mean, hey, Nintendo, you know, they do what the Nintendo wants to do, but still, it was awesome that they managed to even joke with the fans about this. They already know Reggie is in the hearts of a lot of the American players, so I mean, hey, it's cool that they're catering to us to this extent, at least. Yeah, I mean. You know, his body's ready. His body's been ready. We all know this. So, I mean, hey, it's. I think they should take advantage of it, but that's just me. What do you guys think of this whole thing? I think it's awesome that Nintendo's joking around about stuff like this. It's really cool to see. I wish there was a source, though, but I mean, we don't, we're not really seeing anything. Wait, they tease fans. Wait, let's see. Oh, this is on Nintendo's Facebook page. Oh, and they even, I thought a fan made the Photoshop image of him as an amiibo, but it wasn't a fan. It was literally Nintendo themselves making the Photoshop and then posting about it on Facebook, that's awesome. I'm gonna like this right now, actually. Pretty awesome, man. But anyways, guys, so what do you think about this whole thing? I think it's pretty awesome, like I said three times. Um, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.